afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. I am shocked and disturbed by the reports of this officer's conduct. The officer's alleged actions fall short of the high standards I and our community have for the San Diego Police Department. I want to apologize to the Ibarra family. This unnecessary act only reopens wounds during an already painful time. I want to assure our community that I do not take these allegations lightly. Officers take an oath to protect and value all life. The officer responsible for this social media post has been suspended without pay, and his police powers have been revoked. Upon learning of this post, I immediately launched an internal investigation. We will be thorough and transparent with our findings, and I will not hesitate to hold our officers accountable. And lastly, let's face it, I clearly understand this is a critical time in relationships between law enforcement and the communities that we serve. I want to send a clear message that this behavior is not acceptable in the San Diego Police Department and does not reflect the values of the men and women of this department. And with that, I'll open it to questions. Is there anything you can tell us, Chief, at this point about the investigation? As you mentioned, um, you called for an investigation immediately, and um, as far as I know, the department started to receive complaints last week. Um, I know it's probably still ongoing, but what can you tell us at yeah, this point about what you know? Yeah, it is ongoing, and you know, immediately, like I said, immediately upon receiving this post and seeing it, and we launched an immediate internal investigation. The officer was pulled from the field and it's a fluid investigation, I'll tell you that. It's still ongoing. Um, and you know, we'll make the disciplinary determination when the, the investigation is com completely concluded. Um, but again, it's where we're at today. I feel confident with where we're going right now with the, with the investigation. In fact, the officer has been not only removed from the field, but his powers have been revoked and been suspended without pay. I think a social media platform uh, was the post made to and what was the nature of it? I think we've seen reports of this could be an Instagram post. Can you yeah, I, that? that's my, the way I was briefed. It was a, an Instagram post that uh, made light of, the, of an incident this officer was involved in back in, I believe it was June, an officer involved shooting incident that the officer was involved in. Can you tell us about like, the timeline that you expect for the investigation? Obviously, internal affairs. You know, at any given time, it handles many different uh, matters. But uh, in terms of the lane, um, and also, do you anticipate that the public will get answers? There have been instances in the past where uh, we've called for internal investigations, and we haven't, you know, always been uh, briefed at the conclusion of the investigation. Yeah, let me take the first part of the question first. So, obviously, we want to be. This is a priority investigation for this department, and. I've made that very clear to the commanding officer of internal affairs. So this will obviously be the highest priority for that office. But I want to say that we're going to take enough time to be extremely thorough and get to the bottom of exactly what happened, what was posted, and, and determine that. Now, as far as when I talk about transparency and reporting the findings, there I think everybody's aware there is state legislation that kind of does not allow me to be as transparent as I can be, as or I'd like to be in this particular case. So. I will do my very best to make certain that the public and the media uh, has as much information that, that I can legally, uh, you know, put out there, basically. And we'll work through that. And I understand that that's a frustrating piece for the public uh, with the state legislation. Um, and I will, like I said, I'll be as transparent as the law allows me to be. Can you go over the guidelines and rules for your officers when it comes to their personal social media pages? Yeah, thank you. And, you know, this is something that I as a chief, and I know our commanding officers, our assistant chiefs, we talk about this week. Uh, we do have policies that do not allow us to put tweets or posts on social media about our job. Um, you know, obviously we do that as part of our media services unit, um, but individual posts from officers, it is against policy to put posts especially of this nature. And that's why, again, why I'm taking this allegation so seriously, why the investigation has been launched, and, and what you see in the officer that had been taken out of the field and suspended. It seems like it would be surface enough to see a post and make a decision one way or another. What is it that you guys are still waiting for before you make a file? 
The officer has due process. And so I need to, to be able to take disciplinary action on this officer, I need to do a proper investigation uh, where the officer is brought in and interviewed uh, under police officer protection of the Bill of Rights, otherwise known as PARVAR. And so we will make certain that we do our due diligence, the officer goes to the due process, and then the investigation will come to me when it's concluded, and then I'll make that determination on the appropriate discipline in this case. Uh, but I want to be very clear, this behavior is not acceptable. And I will do my duty and my the authority investing in me in my position to make sure that this does not happen. Do you worry that there is a culture where maybe some officers don't understand this is not? Do you think he was alone in a post like this, or maybe is it worth refreshing other officers' minds what well, they can and can't do on social media? I, to answer but I don't believe it's a culture, but it's something that we have to make certain sure that we don't, right? But also, it is something that we talk about. I'll be talking about it to all the captains tomorrow at our weekly briefing. Uh, but again, it is something that we talk about weekly. I talk about it at advanced officer training all the time. I talk about it at captain's meetings. I know it's discussed in line. I know our assistant chiefs discuss it with their appropriate personnel. So it is something that we, we've done. That's why I'm disturbed this, about this post. And again, these are alleged actions. But as the investigation unfolds, these are the steps I'm now taking. Is there some concern that there might be backlash from the community because of this? Obviously, there's been a lot of turmoil in the past several months. No, and I understand that. That's why I said, you know, there's probably not. I've been in this business for 32 years. I followed my father's footsteps into this business. So I've been around this business for quite some time. I understand it's a very critical time relationship-wise between law enforcement and the communities that we serve. And, you know, this doesn't help. And I acknowledge that. And this does not meet our expectations. And again, that's why the swift action. If, if it were to come up, you know, what the allegations are, are in fact true, would you guess that those are terminable, uh, you can be terminated for a defense like that? So you're saying if the allegations are true? Right. Is that something that you can dismiss an officer? Would you expect Yeah, it, it, could be, it could be everything from a suspension all the way to termination. And again, I will make that determination upon the conclusion of the investigation. Okay. Just to follow up on a question that was asked, um, do you at all uh, fear that you know something like this could inflame tensions and put officers in danger, either this officer or other officers? And if so, you know how do you handle that? Uh, it is a concern, uh, and that's why we're being very forthcoming. That's why we're talking to the media, making certain that people understand that I, as the chief, I and we as a department, are taking this very serious. That we're taking steps to make sure it never happens again, and that the officers being held accountable. At this point. And so. That is my message to the community, that again, these actions, these LS actions do not reflect the values of the men and women that serve daily and do a phenomenal job. Um, and that's again why the SWIFT actions. So last thing, can you say who, who is one that reached out to you guys to notify you of the social media posts? I was notified from my own personnel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.